I think every once in a while, you'll meet someone who truly thinks that they are the main character and the real world is just their video game. They will talk to every person that they meet like they're an NPC with around three lines of dialogue and maybe some kind of fetch quest to give them. The biggest irony about these people that believe that they're the protagonist, they end up being the biggest NPCs themselves because they just say the same three things to everyone. Now today, I bring you a character that is so full of himself, a single verbal exchange led him to make various threats and explain his entire life story to every single person who passed him. This man is the equivalent of playing Skyrim at three in the morning, hitting the wrong dialogue prompt, and then hearing a random NPC talk about their entire life story. I do want to say, world building like that is absolutely fine, but not if it's the length of every single Harry Potter book put together. So this video starts, as most of them do, mid-combat. We are directly in the middle of the film. So what I gathered from my various sources, which is reading the description of the video, apparently this guy sounded off on someone else in a Walmart because they didn't speak English. Now, I do want to say I'm completely aware that the majority of my fan base is American, but to the lesser people in the UK and Australia, Sweden, other countries that isn't sure on what a Walmart is, it's essentially a big warehouse you go into where you buy Logan Paul and KSI's prime hydration drink and nothing else. Yeah, you should be shaken. I and am. When someone doesn't yeah. speak English, and we can't communicate in Los Angeles. Guess what happens? Honest. So already this feels like the equivalent of a Dark Souls 3 gank with, with around three phantoms. The fact that there's so many spectators already watching, I, I feel like they're trying to recreate the scene from Gladiator, except a dumbed down Walmart equivalent. So this video doesn't give too much context and was originally posted on Reddit. But I did some internet sleuthing, which is looking at the TikTok watermark in the corner, and managed to track down the original woman that posted the video. Now, this is a three-part series, the Lord of the Rings trilogy, if you will. So apparently, to give full context, because the, the, there's so many angles here, the woman filming wasn't the one who was being harassed. She kind of jumped in and started filming. And this guy who's sounding off, he apparently is a Walmart employee, but he's off shift right now. And he's getting angry because he was talking to someone, and I don't think they could understand what he was saying because English wasn't their native language and he sounded off which precedes him to scream over and over this is america this is america honestly i don't think being an american is that great it's probably one of the biggest stat debuffs you could have in human history but but for the sake of it let's roll with it Dad, when you're in america you better learn our language you want to bet yeah you want to bet seriously yes i was, I was not like you were us. very racist to that woman no i was not you should just leave no, you should leave and get her away you from me. Leave. Well, I'm not leaving till you leave. The one thing you've got to love is this off-duty Walmart employee, who doesn't even work at this Walmart, by the way, is telling actual Walmart employees to leave. Like they're just going to throw their badges on the floor and go, you know what? He got us. I'm going to leave now. Now, usually you'd think uh, he gets a little bit angry, starts filming. That's it. Like, who cares? Is it, th there's no big fight. There doesn't need to be a big fight because he then starts comparing the entire situation to the September 11 attacks. That's why. September 11, 2001. That's why. That has nothing to do with you her. Want a bet? That has nothing to Learn do with Learn English. Her. It's America. It's so not Spain. Or call the and it's not Mexico. Ah, uh, yes. I too remember how the Spanish were involved in 9-11. It's, it, it's so genius when you have people that are this angry and they have so much misplaced rage that they just bring in any kind of group of people they can find. It's the Mexicans and the women. The women shouldn't be allowed to vote. If the women didn't vote, then JFK would still be alive. And then someone would proceed to tell the guy that JFK was actually a, a liberal, not a conservative, and he'd just double down anyway. The only time in this entire video where he shows any kind of remorse, maybe he's going to stop, is when the woman filming mentions about getting a manager and it's like his inner genetic Karen just comes out for a second and the sheer panic of someone saying that line that isn't him. Is there a manager or, or the Brenda. police because he, he verbally attacked one of your and employees. And this lady is verbally accosting me. I want her away from me. Then there's this weird bit where he's been filming the whole time, right? But but then he gets out his camera. He obnoxiously turns the flash on like some kind of boomer and he goes right up in her face like, hey, hey, I'm just, it's okay. I'm, I'm three feet away. This is, this is, this here, this, this is three feet away. Social distancing. I, I know, know the law. law. Can I, can we just go ahead? We and sure can. Hold on. Wait, please. 
Yes, we can. Don't you? If you're that close and I could touch you, well, then you I'll have be, an issue. It's called a three di three feet. We've studied law. And then all of this has led up to the original video that was posted on Reddit, which is you know th this whole encounter with all the Walmart employees basically doing bets on who's going to come out of this alive. It gets even worse because the people that are watching, some of them try to get involved. You know, wh one of the guys, he's so nice about it. He just says, you know, come on, man, let's just let's just stop this now. He's not even taking sides. He's being neutral, like those gray people from Futurama. But this guy is not having it and he repeats everything we've already heard firemen police officer marines navy but then he adds an extra medal onto his belt are you police don't worry about me. Yeah, are you military? Yeah, this is no, okay, I'm, I'm retired you fire police officer. Sir, can I have you go and I'm MMA trained. Your and we'll hey, so you really want to go there? So now he's making threats to people that are trying to, you know, calm down the situation because he's MMA trained. He's a professional kickboxer up there with the likes of Conor McGregor. I've actually seen a lot of comments that have pointed out that this guy talks exactly like Joe Biden. And I do agree. He does sound like Joe Biden. If Joe Biden can form a comprehensive sentence and also trash talked in Modern Warfare 2 lobbies, seven hours a day. Oh boy, Howard. You ever heard of Chuck Liddell? We train guys like that. How about Conor McGregor? Get away from me. Get the fuck away from me! I like how I, I made the Conor McGregor joke only for him to reference it moments later. Also, just to make things even more chaotic, another passerby tries to get involved. Th th this guy, to be fair, albeit is a lot more aggressive about it. And apparently, he's in a gang because he has tattoos. I said you're talking to LA's finest. Not Omaha. And this ain't Podunk, Iowa. Get that guy away from me. He probably has a gang background based on those tattoos. I love the way he says that. I love that tattoos so it reaches the point where he starts seeing red and just vaguely threatening anyone that passes by even saying at one point even though he has baggy clothes on he's got 200 pounds of iron underneath talking but you need to stay away from me because you don't know because we're in baggy clothes but this is 200 pounds of ivory get away from me now, when I first heard him say that, the way he said it, I thought he was saying irony, almost like he's doing an entire bit and he's just going to tap the person he was racist to and be like, hey, look, there's a camera. You got trolled. And then Joey Salads probably comes out the background and starts applauding, saying this is part of a social experiment. And Fousey Tube's probably somewhere in the background anyway. You got to love as well how the guy is still shouting at the other guy that just, you know, completely disengaged and walked away. It's the equivalent of trash talking someone in a lobby, but only once you know that they've left. And then one of the Walmart employees, bless her, she was so nice nice and cordial to him and you know he doesn't want to punch her in the mouth to be fair but then he just starts giving her like a, a math lesson about how much walmart makes when i talk to an employee that works for walmart that are trillionaires which is a lot more than a billionaire or a millionaire and she can't even speak english to me because you disappeared and i wasn't done yet then there's a little bit of an issue guys this is some groundbreaking information i've never mentioned this on the parasynical channel before but a trillionaire has more money than a billionaire and a billionaire has more money than a millionaire. You know what I feel like right now? I, I feel like I'm on the first question of who wants to be a millionaire. You know when they ask you like like the most stupid basic question that no one could fail? Because if they did fail, it'd be a 20 second episode as opposed to an hour long one pumped full of ads. When you're in Los Angeles and you can't speak the same language, whatever that language is, because I speak about five languages, but if you can't speak our language, I want to tell you straight up, people die, you guys. <laughs> I, I like how he speaks five languages, by the way. None of them are Spanish. You know that this is the kind of guy that will read like a Japanese manga. He'll know one single word in Japanese and then proceed to get a Japanese visa. I do want to say as well, it, it's amazing how he does not understand the irony of complaining about people not speaking English in LA, one of the most ethnically diverse places in all of America. I think the Hispanic population in LA is, is like 47 to 49%, like just under half. And also... LA, Los Angeles, it is a Spanish name. It literally meant City of Angels, but was anglicized into Los Angeles. One thing that I'll definitely lose sleep over tonight, though, is to this day, I still have no idea. Is he a firefighter? Is he a police officer? Is he a peace officer? A, a UFC fighter or a Marine with 200 pounds of irony? 200 pounds of irony! He's doing the equivalent of like, when you pick your character in an RPG game, he just ticks every single box and maxes out all of his stats. But truly, I've learned today, in typical American fashion, the First Amendment applies to everyone, except if I don't agree with your opinion. <laughs>